Hello in YouTube and welcome. My name is Casey Kelderman. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. In this video, we're going to talk about the best movies of 2015, the ones that I actually saw in theaters. I know a lot of these movies that you may have on your personal list uh, will not be on mine, actually. Um, there's a lot of movies I didn't see this year. I've yet to see Hateful Eight and The Revenant, the two biggest films I want to see yet this year. They haven't come out in theaters anywhere near me, so. I will definitely do reviews of those once they come to a theater near me. They're only in a, a few theaters right now in LA and New York, so once they come around this area, I definitely will do reviews on them. So I'm not sure if they would have been on my top 10 of the year list either way, so there's no way to know that. So anyway, let's get started with this list. Coming in at number 10 is Ant-Man. Ant-Man, my favorite uh, comic book movie of the year, uh, better than Age of Ultron. Sorry, uh, I know a lot of people will have that on their top 10, but for me, Ant-Man was the best Marvel movie of the year. It had some of the best comedy that we've seen in a Marvel movie. I loved Paul Rudd as our hero. I love Paul Rudd in everything, man. He's, he's great. Uh, he plays a perfect uh, Scott Lang in this movie. Michael Douglas is awesome as Hank Pym. Uh, Evangeline Lilly is awesome as uh, Wasp. Uh, Jeanette, um, uh, Janet Pym, I think she is in this movie. Maybe she... Uh, I don't think her name was... Janet Van Dyne. I think it was Pam. Anyway, uh, Ant-Man, I really love the comedy. Michael Pena was awesome, awesome. Definitely need more of him in uh, Ant-Man 2. So, at number 10, Ant-Man for the great uh, uh, kind of throwback to uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's what it reminded me of. Some fun action with him shrinking. Great comedy. Overall, really like the film. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it yet. So, number 10, Ant-Man. Right, coming in at number 9 is... Spy, one of the most surprising movies of this year for me. Um, not a huge Melissa McCarthy fan at all. Uh, definitely the only movie I've liked of hers so far was Bridesmaids, but Spy really surprised me at how funny it was. Uh, Kevin Feige, uh, Feig whatever you want to pronounce it, he directs this, uh, does a great job. Definitely a uh, well blend of comedy and action. Does action pretty well in this movie. Definitely want to see what he does in Ghostbusters. Jason Statham, he steals the show. Freaking awesome. Love him. Rose Byrne is pretty great in this movie, so is uh, Jude Law. So, Spy, uh, probably my favorite comedy of this year, honestly. Definitely surprised me. Um, definitely want to see more of Paul Feig now, and uh, definitely want to see Jason Statham do more comedy, because he is fantastic in this movie. Coming in at number eight is Straight Out of Compton. Straight Out of Compton, the story of the NWA. Never really grew up on that kind of music, NWA rap music. Uh, Definitely um, one of the most surprising movies of this year for me personally. Uh, definitely a great story about the NWA. They're coming up a uh, biopic of Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Eazy, everybody else in the straight, uh, excuse me, NWA. Uh, loved the movie, great dramatic moments. Uh, loved all the moments with the music, great stuff. Uh, the the gentleman that plays Eazy, um, cannot think of the actor's name right now, sorry, but I think he should be nominated for, definitely for a supporting actor role in this movie. Loved it. Um, definitely a great story. Definitely comes out at the perfect time with all the uh, racial uh, divide in our world today. Great time to release this movie, and also it's a great movie to watch. So if you haven't seen Straight Outta Compton, definitely watch it. Even if you don't like rap music, it definitely tells a great story and definitely delves uh, into these real life characters that you want to know uh, more about. At number seven is my favorite horror film of this year. It Follows. Came out early, early in this year. Definitely, I heard a lot of buzz about this movie, so me and a buddy, we decided to go watch it. I was just blown away by it. Uh, I love 80s horror films. I love all horror films. Huge horror fan. Definitely will see a lot of horror films in my worst of the year. Anyway, we're not talking about the worst. We're talking about the best horror film of the year. It Follows. Love the story about basically an STD, sexually transmitted demon, as I like to call it. Uh, takes over... Uh, this girl gets it from this guy that she slept with and has to figure out how to deal with this in her life and uh, she can't really get rid of it even if she passes it on it can come back to haunt her so just like an actual uh, uh, metaphor for a sexual disease this uh, definitely takes a new new uh, direction for horror as well as paying homage to classics like Halloween Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, definitely felt those vibes in this movie, so it follows. If you haven't seen it, check it out, even if you don't like horror films. It's not too scary, I don't think. Definitely a lot of creepy moans, creepy imagery, but a great story, indie film. Check it out if you haven't seen it. 
Coming in at number six is Mission Impossible 5 Rogue Nation. Uh, not a huge Mission Impossible fan, actually. I've only seen uh, one and two right now so far. I uh, have to watch three and four sometime. Uh, <clears throat> but Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Actually, I fell, or, uh, excuse me, I fell in love with this movie right away. Uh, you didn't need to see the other ones. All you had to know is Tom Cruise is a badass and he has a team with him. And then it goes straight into this awesome action. Tom Cruise on a plane, fantastic stuff, but not my favorite action scene in this movie. That My favorite action scene in this movie is right after Tom Cruise is brought back to life, basically. He has this awesome motorcycle chase, uh, excuse me, car chasing that turns into a motorcycle chasing. Loved it, loved it. Awesome action. Uh, pretty decent story for uh, you know a spy film. You can't go too different than many other spy films, but definitely it's all about the action. Action was great. Uh, you could tell what was happening. Great directing. I definitely want to see more of Mission Impossible by uh, Tom Cruise and uh, this director. So definitely looking forward to Mission Impossible Six now. And at number five is another movie that was released earlier in the year. In the year, it was directed by Matthew Vaughn. It is Kingsman: The Secret Service. Basically, James Bond meets comic book movies. That's basically what the uh, whole premise is of Kingsman. Awesome, awesome action. Definitely Samuel L. Jackson as the villain with his lift is fantastic. Uh, this kid in this movie, Taron Edgerton, definitely going to be a breakout star. Loved it. The action is so violent and dirty and just so bloody. It's awesome. Uh, you don't see much of this in comic book movies besides like Kick-Ass and, and that was directed by Matthew Vaughn as well. So definitely I think they're making a sequel, definitely am anticipating that, that's going to be awesome. As long as you bring Matthew Vaughn back. Matthew Vaughn is one of my favorite directors working today. Such a great uh, visual style and take on uh, violence and action, so great stuff. Kingsman, The Secret Service, if you haven't checked it out yet, go watch Coming in at number four is probably the only film on my list that will have some major buzz at the Oscars. It is The Martian with Matt Damon. Uh, I was surprised by how funny and how uh, heartwarming this film actually is. But uh, know anything about the movies I review or me personally, I'm not huge into like the dramas and the uh, Oscar contending movies. I find most of them pretty boring and just, you know, generic dramatic stuff just for Oscar bait and stuff like that. But The Martian, definitely, it's one of the funniest movies of the year. Matt Damon gives a great f performance, both dramatic and comedic in this movie, and he's going to science the shit out of you in this. So great stuff. Awesome, awesome uh, supporting cast. you got Jeff Daniels, Kristen Wiig's in it, uh, Donald Glover. Uh, there's so many people. Uh, excuse me, Chiwetel Ejiofor is in this. Uh, this is the first movie I've seen him in, actually, and I love this guy. I can't wait to see what he does in Doctor Strange. I got, I got to go back and watch some of his older movies because this guy just screams uh, movie star to me. So The Martian is my number four. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Coming in at number three is one of the few movies I actually did a review on this year. I definitely will get more reviews out next year. Definitely will have a lot more time on my hands to do this and focus more on that. So at number three, we got Creed, the seventh film in the Rocky franchise. I'm a huge Rocky fan. I did a, You saw my very long review of Creed and the Rocky franchise. Loved that uh, basically it takes Rocky and puts him in 2015 with a new character, the son of Apollo Creed. So it's basically the same story beats as the first Rocky, but in a modern setting, like I said. Fantastic, fantastic performance by Sylvester Stallone. Possibly his greatest performance as the character Rocky ever, in my opinion. If Stallone doesn't get a supporting acting nom, I'm going to be super surprised. He was so great in this movie. He had me tear tearing up at a few moments, actually. Uh, the action for, or, excuse me, the boxing action in, in this movie is some of the best I've ever seen. There's a tracking shot where it's one fight. One take, amazing. Possibly the greatest scene of any movie this entire year. So Creed is my number three. Coming in at my number two spot, I went back and forth between my number two and my number one, but at number two, it's the movie that took away uh, all momentum and hype that Avengers Age of Ultron had. It's Mad Max Fury Road. Oh, what a day. What a lovely day. Yes, Mad Max. Man, I love this movie. One of the best action movies that we've had in the last 20, 30 years, for sure. That's probably a long time. Well, I'll say in the last 10 to 15 years that we'll make it a little more reasonable here. So Mad Max Fury Road, definitely one of the best movies of the year. Such a great, uh, visually striking movie. 
such a simple story too, but it's not really about the story. It's about these visuals, the action, the practical effects, oh, and how they actually mix the practical effects, excuse me, with CGI. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Charlie's their own is awesome. Gives a great performance as Furiosa in this movie, and Tom Hardy does his grunting, which is fine as Mad Max. So if you haven't seen Mad Max, definitely, definitely watch this movie. I know a lot of people in my hometown and this area that I live in, they just go watch the big blockbusters, which is fine. I love big blockbusters, but they go see the franchise movies, Transformers, uh, Ninja Turtles, all those Fast and the Furious movies like that. So this kind of flew in under my radar. So definitely, if you're from this area and you haven't seen it, if you're from anywhere and haven't seen this, definitely go watch Mad Max Fury Road. And coming in at my number one spot, was there even any doubt about this? I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt for Christ's sake. It's Star Wars The Force Awakens Episode 7, my most anticipated movie of 2015. One of my most anticipated movies of all time, honestly. This movie, it had everything I wanted. I loved it. Star Wars, the original trilogy is what got me into loving movies, so this brought me right back to that. So Star Wars The Force Awakens is definitely my number one personal favorite movie of the year. I know it has a lot of flaws and stuff like that, rehashes from New Hope, Empire, and Jedi, but I still love the movie. I, I don't care what you say, you can leave a comment about how Star Wars sucks. To me, I loved it. It was, it was great. Everything I wanted in this movie. But with that being said, let me know what your top 10 is. This is my top 10. This is my personal favorite. I, do I personally think Star Wars The First Awakens is the best of 2015? Best film? You know, uh, directing, acting, story, uh, visuals wise? No, probably not. But it's my personal favorite. That's why I loved it. That's the beauty about film. Every film is subjective. Everybody has different opinions on each film. Uh, different uh, top ten lists. Different films that they thought were better, worse, whatever you think. So with that being said, please let me know what your top ten is. Like I said, drop that in the comments below. If yours is different than mine, cool. Let me know what yours is. I want to know what other people's favorite movies of the year are. Uh, I know a lot of people would put Mad Max as number one. Maybe The Martian is number one. Creed, well, I know, is a lot of people's number one. Hey, maybe you had Taken 3 or uh, some other shitty movie as your number one. That's cool, I guess. You're wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. But you are. Anyway, let me know what your top 10 is. Leave it in the comments below. So that is my top 10 list of the movies that I saw in theaters in 2015. A great year for movies actually. It really surprised me how many great movies uh, came out this year that I really loved. Um, some on my list that I wish I could have even put higher. Was, one would be like It Follows. I wish I could have put higher just because I absolutely love the movie. But uh, that's the way the list it turned out. So I can't wait for uh, what 2016 brings us. I will definitely have a most anticipated movies of 2016 list coming out later this week. So definitely look out for that. But uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a list I am definitely looking forward to make is my worst of 2015. We had all these great films that I listed before. We also had some shit piles. So make sure you look out for that. And as always, my name is Casey Kelderman. Please remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. It's just my name, Casey Kelderman. Uh, I also have Instagram now. I don't know why I have it. Follow me if you want. But as always, subscribe, like, comment, share. Do all that fun stuff. Let me know what your top ten is. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.